Dude, I have no freaking clue what's gonna win. Gone. Oh, that one's gone. Way out. Oh. See ya. Dude, it's freaking automatic with both of these. What up, what up? Will Trace and JT here with the Baseball Bat Bros. We got the championship for One Piece BB Core Bat Madness. We got the Stinger Nuke. We got the Voodoo One. I bet you didn't think we'd be saying that a month ago. I'm surprised <laughs> as hell, but these things are gassed. Let's go. All right, fellas, little rundown of how we got here. Both of these bats started in the playing round. These didn't even have a first round buy. The Stinger Nuke, let's see if we can remember. It got through the Cat 7, mm -hmm. smoked it. The Warstick Hawk 2, smoked it. The Easton B5, smoked it. Oh, then the Victus Vandal, mm -hmm. freaking smoked it. Very, very well deserved. Neither of these got here by accident. They are both very legit. The Voodoo one got through the Velo, smoked it. The Moab Speed, mm -hmm. big upset, but honestly, freaking swept it, yeah. smoked it. These guys have not lost. Yeah. So, and, and they're cheap and they're freaking durable. That's what I love it. Like, that's why I'm so stoked about this. Because we have literally two of the best BB Core bats of the year that are half the price of a lot of the a, a lot of stuff. Exactly. The They're season. gonna last you two years yeah. at least, bro. So all right, let's get it. Few swings each. Four one piece alloy supremacy, the nuke and voodoo one. Let's go, fellas. Dude, I have no freaking clue what's gonna win. I don't know what the fan voting is gonna be here, but it should be 50-50, because that's honestly how I feel. All right, we're starting off with the DeMarini Voodoo One. Super, super light, but has freaking juice like an end loaded bat. Uh, it's been confusingly very, very good. So let's see what this has got today. Let's see if it can knock off the Stinger Nuke. These have both just freaking mowed through the entire tournament. So stoked for this one, guys. Short hop, all right. <laughs> oh my God. goodness. Wow. So gone. Wow. Oh, oh my <laughs> God. Good little 380 so shot at least right there. That was a nuke. Got a baby. Later, ball. Yes, sir. One of my dingers hit that house, now the alarm's going off. <laughs> I hit that house, but the cameras were off. John went oppo 640. <laughs> but the cameras were off. Ooh. Hit that there. Uh -oh. That was like, good. that was so low. Yeah, too. I hit it on the end. You hit so off that, dude, that is the story of the tournament. Yeah. How the hell does a bat that light do that? All right, the Stinger Nuke, like it. Dude, I honestly think the Voodoo One is the favorite right now. Yeah. Just, I'm hitting balls as far as I can like typically hit it with a toothpick, bro. Stinger now. All right, Stinger, Stinger time. Okay. It. Here we go. Gone, dude. Oh my god. That better be way out. It is. Way out. Oh. Off the hands too. Didn't even barrel that up. Way out. Oppo. See ya. Dude, it's freaking automatic with both of these. So with this, it's much like less effort. Like you just throw the barrel and it hits the ball out of the yard. With the Voodoo One, you got, you have to swing hard, but it's a toothpick. It's so easy to swing hard. I have, dude, I have no idea. Oh, 
Dude, that's off the freaking cap of the bat. Out in front, over the fence. Oh, buddy. <laughs> Way out, bro. It's gonna be a good one, guys. All right, fellas, the time has come to crown a one-piece alloy king. These have both secured their spot in the Bat Madness World Series, so you will see them again. Uh, personally, guys, I feel so good about these being the championship bats. Like, both of, both of the rounds with each, I was just having so much fun. They're incredible. Um, do you guys have a vote? Yes. Are you guys sure of it? Yes, yes. Really, so like, so a lot of the times in these rounds, especially Cam, will be very torn up. He'll go into the vote not knowing what's gonna come out of his mouth. But uh, today we are ready. I honestly don't know what you guys are gonna vote for. I could see it going either way. The, I will tell you, these are both 23 pluses on the Bat Bro scale. As good as anything. Mm -hmm. And they're way cheaper than those other $400, $500 bats. So, all right, big vote here. We're gonna say Voodoo One, or we're gonna say nuke. Are you guys ready? Yes. I'm ready. Two out of three winner. Mm -hmm. Three, two, one. Voodoo, Voodoo one. one. Yo. The clean sweep. Don't throw the nuke. It doesn't deserve it. <laughs> the Voodoo one. The king of one piece alloys. Wow. The Voodoo one never lost. It, it went, let's see. One, two, three. I think it went 15 and 0 in voting. Oh, wow. <laughs> that is incredible. Everything I know about BB Core is that the heavier the bat, the more mass in the barrel, the further the ball goes. This is kind of an exception. It honestly feels like it has the sweet spot and the juice of a lot of end loaded bats. And, and it's very, very light swing. But I'm hitting balls 380, 390 feet with a toothpick mm. and it feels good. It's not like, you're, it's not like the velo where it's gonna wring your hands or there's a small sweet spot. There's actually a sweet spot on it too. Uh, what do you think, man? I agree. I mean, really, they're both equal in the sense of power and sweet spot, but I mean, the swing weight on this. Stupid. I mean, it's just ridiculous how light this is and how much power it packs. Yep. It's, it's incredible, I love it. I but. will say, I think there's such thing as too light of a bat. Like yeah. if you can easily swing like the goods or like a Cat9 Connect or a Cat9 or something like that, like if you can easily whip that, whip that around the zone, like do it. Mm -hmm. Cause you'll probably have a bit bigger range where you're gonna get that like maximum 102 mile an hour, like for us type of pop. But, um, but you're it, gonna be a big corner college guy. Yeah, ex exactly. Like, too many guys in high school. This should honestly be one of the most popular bats in high school, in my opinion. Especially for younger guys. Especially for like a lot of you middle schoolers that are having to swing BB core right now, which I think is stupid. I don't think 12 and 13 year olds should be having to swing BB core, in my opinion. <laughs> I think like drop eights and drop fives make sense for that. But a lot of you guys have to, anyways. A light swinging bat that still packs a punch like this. JT, what do you think, man? Uh, the swing weight to pop ratio. It's just, it, it's probably the best out of any bat I swung. I think the Bone Saber is also up there, but yeah, it doesn't have a sweet spot like this. We, we hit so many off the end. And that, that's lighter. We hit so many off the end that went so far out. I know, which is, yeah. <laughs> this thing needs to get inspected, man. <laughs> this is like kind of sus on the BB core it's, it's passing. It's juicing. It's juicing, yeah. <laughs> uh, I think, and I don't think they've really changed it that much. If anything, I feel like this 2020 version might flex a bit more than the older versions. It might have just been that we swung, well, the last Voodoo ones we've swung, it's either been in super cold weather, like really cold weather, or it was a 32. This is the first time we've actually swung a 33 in good weather. And it took us a freaking year to discover yeah. this thing, but it, it's gas, man, deserved it, champion. And after months <laughs> of trying to figure this out, it is over, the Voodoo one is the Bat Madness King.
First, let's talk about the Stinger Nuke here. Awesome bat, guys. One of the biggest surprises of the year. Best bang for your buck power hitter bat is looking at you right now. The Stinger Nuke thing is fantastic. Here is its long awaited Bat Bro scale. A fantastic bat, epic on miss hits, great juice, and really not as heavy swinging as a lot of the power stuff out there. And lastly, the Voodoo one freaking blew our minds, man. At least for us, probably the most slept on bat of 2020. Guys, again, just reaffirming, we don't get paid by any of these companies. We're doing this for you guys. We're honestly doing this to try to educate people on what we think are the best bats. We swing a lot of bats. We feel like we have a pretty good idea of it. We're doing this so that you guys can spend your money most efficiently because we know these bats are expensive. The last thing that we want is for kids to buy a bat and be disappointed with it and they drop $400 on a bat they don't even like. That happened to me way too much growing up because i didn't have a way to demo bat so uh, we're honestly just doing this for the peeps out there so um you guys can trust we're not getting paid off to vote for certain bats this is our honest opinion the voodoo one deserved it here's its bat bro scale a unreal combination of speed and power um that's not just marketing hype that's my genuine opinion and it actually kind of has a sweet spot still so epic bat here one of the best of the year should be one of the most popular bats for younger bb core hitters honestly all right, guys, thanks for hanging out today. Uh, you can check out Bat Bro merch over at BaseballBatBros.com. Uh, we got some more Bat Madnesses coming up. Man, I'll just tease a few right now. We got Budget Bat Madness. We got Wood Bat Madness. We got the Bat Madness World Series. Hell, we might do U-Trip Bat Madness. We're going to do Slow Pitch Bat Madness over on the Slow Pitch Bat Bros channel. So a bunch of stuff coming up. Check it out behind the scenes over on Bat Bros social media, over on TikTok, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Guys, thanks for hanging. Subscribe to the channel. Like this video if you appreciated it. We'll see you all next time. Peace out.